Hey guys, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. As usual, you know, I'm not necessarily expert in a lot of this stuff, so I brought an expert in. This is Josh. Hello. Josh is our service manager over here at Walnut Ridge. Josh, today what I thought we would do is tips for towing, either to make towing easier, hooking up easier, backing up easier, just all things towing. Okay. It's not tough, we know that, like yeah. it takes some getting used to, but what are some things in no particular order, what are some things that's going to make towing easier? Uh, you know what? Let's we'll start with weight distribution. Okay. In a travel trailer, um, you're definitely going to want weight distribution. It not only distributes the weight to, to get the, the sag out of the back end of your vehicle, but like what we sell the most of and really recommend, uh, two different ones uh, made by Equalizer, and they have built-in sway control on them. So if you have a smaller trailer, uh, smaller truck, you could get away with an E2. It's gonna have two points of sway. It's gonna do just fine. Shorter trips, maybe you're not taking all the way across the country. Start getting in larger trailers, heavier trailers, bigger trucks, longer trips. You would go with the regular equalizer, what we call E4, because there's four points of sway control on it. So the weight distribution part, same, doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do by the distributing the weight, but the sway control is what's gonna make a major difference. Another cool thing about these, don't have to take any sway control off the frame when you're backing up and maneuvering like you do with like a traditional train uh, chain. Because the old way, once you stopped, you'd have to pop those out get before out, you back up. Take that right? off, get it out of the way, and then do backing. You, you could get away with it if you're just like at a gas station backing straight up just to get clearance. But if you're maneuvering, the problem is really quickly you could, you could get too far and yep. break it. So these, don't worry about it. These leave them on. So it's making it easier for backing up and it's making your tow experience easier. Sorry about breaking that. All right, let's jump over to number two. Josh took me over to this somewhat right confusing here. section. Okay, all right, so go. see you narrowed it down. You narrowed <laughs> it down. Josh, what's a number two that's gonna help making towing experience This is easier? just a super simple one. If you don't have a, a lot of trucks have cameras in the tailgate handle now so you can see hitching up but if you got an older truck or you don't have a truck that has that feature really easy on a travel trailer is uh, the good old tennis ball method these are just magnets one goes on the trailer one goes on the truck they telescope up so you can see them you back up when the two balls come together you know you're over the ball you get out so you don't have to have somebody helping so you don't have to fight with your spouse right super easy yeah there's a walkie talkie or on the phone no no whatever yeah no nope. super easy to do with this and it's 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 just a cheap easy trick that you can put on and then throw it in the compartment whenever you're uh, all hooked up i love it okay we didn't move far apparently for tip number three we've got i guess most of our towing and hitch stuff kind of together here right and most of it yeah okay so what's number three to make life easier um if you have fifth wheel mm -hmm. uh hook the fifth wheel up that that plate turns on the hitch uh, there's a lot of friction there especially if you're traveling a lot Obviously, you're going to need lube for that. Mm -hmm. um, you see semis whenever they're not hooked up to anything, the, the hitch on the back just coated in grease. Yep. Right? Super messy. Why do that when you can just throw a lube plate on, box right up on the kingpin? You don't have to use grease. This thing's going to last. You'll probably trade your camper in uh, before this is gone. So, no grease, no, no grease. lube. Now, you will still lube the, the working part of the hitch yep. stuff, but not the stuff that you're going to be touching. So you're not going to get all messy. Right. It's just going to make life easier. It's one less thing to have to remember. I know about uh, all the different customers that come in. Some use that and some put grease on there. And I don't know how many times I've just brushed against the king pin of my shirt. This is grease sticking out or... Uh, even setting up shows or helping them maneuver in position, transport drivers don't put a loop plate on every trailer so they got some on their hitch. Yep. And you get into it and it's it's messy. It's just So there you guys go. Less mess, less worry. You don't necessarily have to remember anymore. Have I lubed that in a while? You've got this bad boy. This might be my favorite episode because so far I haven't had to walk very far, which I really <laughs> like. Um, what are we going to do for number four? What's another thing that's going to make our life easy? Okay, so if you're towing, you uh, almost as important as an easy ride is being able to stop what's behind you. <laughs> very important. Probably more important than an yeah. easy ride. But um, So we should talk about brake controls for okay. a second. 
So we have a few that we carry in stock. We have a lot more in the catalog that we can uh, that we can order in. But like our most common one is uh, this one by Husky. It's the Quest. It's super easy to use because it's an auto leveling. So there's basically to give you like the quick rundown. There's two types of brake controls. There's an inertia base. So if you're stopping rather abruptly or quickly it's going to apply more power so it's kind of supposed to feel more like how you would break and uh -huh. then there's a the time base which is usually just a little bit cheaper and those just work on a system of you set it what you want it to go to and then you set how long you want it to take to get there but it just always goes there every time uh -huh. so it's an easy brake control to use we sold a lot of those too i would prefer inertia just just because it's going to feel more natural but so that's the reason this one is so simple is because with an inertia base it kind of needs to be leveled think of a pendulum swinging yeah so if you stop pendulum swings forward the farther forward it goes the more braking power so you need to kind of have it set you know on your dash it's got to be leveled out so that the pendulum's in the right position to start these are auto level you don't have to worry about it it's going to do it on its own and then it's a digital readout for your the power that you're setting to it. And same thing with the Primus, it's basically uh, gonna have the same features. Um, the Prodigy's gonna have more features if you have a trailer that has, or a fifth wheel that has a electric over hydraulic brakes instead uh -huh. of, you know, like disc brakes instead of the old drum brakes. This one would be able to do that style of brake. So just moving up in money. And then I grabbed this one off the shelf too to show you. If you don't want, wiring ran through your truck or if it's not pre-wired um and you just have the seven way with power back there this one by kurt actually is all built into this so it just plugs into your plug-in in the back and then your trailer plugs into it and you use your phone now as your brake control the world's so, getting slicker and yeah slicker. It, it, probably if it's me i'd go with this because now what happens you got a trailer and you decide to trade trucks not yeah. your trailer now you got to get new brake control. A lot of trucks have them built in, right, but right. you know maybe if you're towing smaller stuff with an E2, it doesn't have the brake control. You can just take this with your next vehicle, and you already have it. So slick, pretty slick. handy. Yeah. Okay, so he made a liar out of me. You made me walk. I did. I Sorry. mean, not far, but you made yeah. me walk. Right. It's right? good for us. So I think we're on number. Are we on number five here? We're on number five. What's number five? Backup cameras. Um. And I, and I wouldn't really even call them backup anymore because they they don't only come on when you're in reverse and backing up. Now you can use these kind of as uh, a mirror that, that you can't see behind. So so and really they've changed. You can see now they change the vehicle observation system. Uh -huh. So you can have this on while you're going down the road now and see the traffic behind you in real time versus you can't really see out. Um, Which is fantastic if you're going to go change lanes heavy traffic or whatever you can look and see what kind of traffic you yeah have so you. so maybe extended mirrors is going to help you with that in the past uh what you can't tell very well is like say you are already past somebody am i past them enough to pull back over in front of them now yep. and that's going to be difficult to tell with mirrors because you're looking down you know if you have a 32 foot trailer behind you the, the distance gets a little tricky to see how far you are. Even your, your passenger side mirror, your right. objects are closer than they appear or whatever. So add that on top of a 30 foot trailer behind you. Most new RVs now are pre-wired, um, but you can you can just put a, an observation camera in. Yeah, it just pops in, right? And then you have a monitor, it's wireless. So there's no real uh, installation involved other than putting the camera up. Um, in, in the spot it goes to this you're just going to go plug into your accessory plug in your vehicle the old lighter plug in um, and then the camera's just going to or the monitor's just going to pair with the camera we also can add so everything that we have in stock here the five inch and seven inch has the capability of doing multiple cameras so you don't only just have the one on the back you can actually put side view cameras which would just replace your your marker lights on the side of the coach yep. so those front two you yep. put them there and now you're going to have cameras shooting down the sides of the trailer as well so you can kind of see those blind spots where your mirrors aren't going to let you see out this way you can add these to it and see on both sides also helpful for backing into spots yeah yeah you could see uh maybe the power post or yep. a water hookup or something is is on this side and it's your blind side trying to back in uh, you'll be able to see it with that if you're if you're kind of getting too close to it again eliminating the argument with the stacks <laughs> uh, hey, no wait so we're talking about making life easier yeah right? right yeah so 
you know, not only going down the road, but yeah, backing in, which is, it's not something that I don't think a lot of people think of how much that would help you. I don't have a camera in my Jeep, but my wife does, and I don't think she could back up anymore without a camera. Yeah. Because she's so spoiled to have yeah, it. Yeah. It gives you lines, it moves, you know, you know yeah. exactly where you're going. And Unless you know if there's a car coming up behind you, like all kinds of yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, so pretty helpful, I think. So there you have it, another Tip Tuesday. Josh, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate your expertise. Guys, as always, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll come bug Josh, we'll get answers for you. And if you've got suggestions for future episodes, leave those down below as well. Have a great day.